Hello everyone, um, today I have the Pinephone Pro and the Google Pixel 3a. Uh, this is a small one. I also have here the extra large, which is, as you can see, is much larger. Um, this one is running Mobian and this one is running Droidian. Um, as you can see, I changed the theme on it. Um, I don't know, it might be a little bit too bright. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, I'm going to show you the comparisons today of both phones. Um, and which one is, I guess, both of them are good. Is that which one is better? But um, which one you might like better or not, I guess. All the differences really so to start um both of these phones the camera does not work at the moment um there is very little progress uh, as of now on both phones to get the camera working um it's kind of a bummer um it's one of the things i need the most um the quality of the camera for this phone is actually pretty nice i've tested on uh, Ubuntu Touch, and I'm not really sure what the cap, what the quality of this of the Pinephone Pro will be like. <clears throat> On the other hand, this one the the flashlight works, as you can see, and on Droidian or on the Google Pixel, the flashlight doesn't even turn on. Um. Another thing is, another difference is the battery. Um, so the battery life, uh, it varies on both phones. Um, the advantage of the Pine phone is that you can remove the battery of this one. So it's way more uh, modular in that sense. Oops, sorry, on the, um, on the Pixel, you can. I mean, it's all integrated into the phone, so you can't really open it or anything. Um, so I guess that's an advantage and disadvantage. Um, another thing is the suspend. Right now, I have Toe Boot on the Pinephone Pro, um, and suspend works, and it goes into deep suspend, which is good because then it's. You will get a very long battery life. At the same time, it actually shuts down everything. So if you get a call or a text message or, um, um, or an email or something like that, um, chances are you're not going to get it. Or I mean, you still get it, but you won't know it because it goes into, into deep suspend. So um, there's no network at all. On the Pixel, um, it goes into it, suspend does work, and it goes into um, suspend to idle, which is essentially a soft suspend. So, if the phone is off, you can still get calls, text messages, emails, whatever. Um, on the other hand, <clears throat> like I said, on the suspend. You get more battery life on the Pine Phone Pro. Now, when you're using the phone, you know, just like that, uh, the discharge rate on the Pine Phone Pro as of today is much, uh, it, it discharges much faster than than the, than the Pixel 3a. Um, the reason for that is um, the Pine, sorry, the Pixel 3a has. It runs on the frequency, uh, the power save frequency. So, which is why it consumes a little bit less battery in that sense while using the phone. The Pine, the Pine phone, I believe it runs on on demand. Um, I don't think they have yet implemented a power save frequency on the phone, which is why it discharges much faster. Now the difference of both phones, as you can see, is the thickness. And you know, the 
this is a the pine phone is actually fairly thick you know if you were to put it with the pixel and you can see it there it's uh it's quite thick even if you compare it to the extra large model you know it's the same size but the pine phone is a little bit thicker it's also heavier and that's because you know as you know it's it's thicker it has a modular battery and so on so it's this feels kind of like a kind of like a Game Boy, you know. Um, but it has advantages over that. Another thing, another difference, um, you know, that I personally like is the browser Epiphany. Um, I don't know why, even though both of them are using Mobian, you know. Um, the video doesn't work very well, or doesn't work at all, on the Pixel 3a, you know? It just either breaks or freezes or you can't play anything at all. Uh, on the Pine phone, it does work smoothly, actually. Um, I guess it's... Video not well. I came back from another video. Maybe that's why, but it was working fine. Uh, let me see if I can try again. Um, let's see. I had it here. Okay, so try it again. Let's see this one. So it does work. It works fine, as you now, can see, right? We are introducing the Pine Phone Pro, the fastest mainline Linux smartphone on the market. Anyways, I'm not going to go on through the whole, you know, full screen works for the video as well. And that's really nice. I personally prefer this browser over Firefox and so on. It uses less battery. Uh, it's very touch friendly. You know, you can swipe back, you know, kind of like Android. You know, you can keep swiping back and so on. So it's really nice. Now on the Pixel, as long as you're not using um, YouTube, you can go to, I mean, it works fine as a, as a, as a browser overall. So if you want to use, um, you know, my guy Ubuntu, And it's fairly smooth. I don't know if you can. Maybe the the frame rate on my camera is not fast, but it is pretty smooth. Um, let me bring the light down on this one there. So that's one thing. Another thing is another advantage of this the Pine Phone is that it has you can put an SD card, and you can either run a different OS or you can have more storage. Pixel Three A doesn't have that. It's just 64 gigabytes of storage, and that's as much as you get. Um, you know, it's kind of a bummer, really, in that sense. Um, like I said, on this one, you can run multiple OS. You can have, you can, you can dual boot two two OSs at the same time. You can run on EMC, which I actually have Manjaro, Fosh, and then I have Mobian on the SD. So that's kind of cool. So I can play around both of them. Now, I was going to show you the difference in sound quality on both phones, but my camera here doesn't pick up um, sound very well. So either way, you know, the quality of the Pixel 3a in that case is much nicer. Um, it's very smooth. You know, it sounds like an actual phone. This one, it's okay. Um, it gets by. It doesn't have that much bass. Um, I rather not listen to something on speakerphone on the Pine phone. Um, 
you know, and that's just me, me being picky, I guess. Another thing is, um, I haven't tested recently, but <clears throat> on the on the Pixel 3a, if you're on a phone call, for example, on using the headphone jack, um, and then you unplug it, it will go into um, speaker right away, automatically. Um, on the Pine phone, I haven't tried it in the last few weeks, but that wouldn't happen. It will get stuck on whichever um, input it was in. So if you had it on headphone jack, you know, with your, like a, and and you unplugged it, you had to go back into settings and change it from there on. So this is feel, this feels more complete in that sense. And lastly, um, the display quality on both phones, you know, is the colors are much richer on the Pixel 3a, you know. Um, the Pine phone, it's it's okay, it's not bad. Um, I wouldn't say the colors are very bright. I don't know if you can see it here. You know, that yellow. And then you can see that's much nicer. Um, but yeah, I mean, but those are minor differences. I mean, they're not deal breaker. Um, and then lastly is the price. This phone, I believe, is roughly $500. Um, well, at least when I bought it. Today, a secondhand, or maybe even brand new, Pixel 3a, you can probably get it around $200 and even less. Secondhand, you probably get it for 100 So, you know, it's much cheaper. The main difference is you can really you can the, the best OS you can run on this one right now is Droidian and Ubuntu Touch. And on the Pine phone you can this unlimited the, the amount of OSs you can you can run and the things you can do and so on. I mean I personally am not gonna use GNOME desktop on, on a phone, though it's kinda cool that you can do it. Or XFCE. So for me the only two desktops that I really like would be Fosh, which is the one I really like the most, and Plasma Mobile, which I personally don't like that much, but I'm sure other people do. Um, but yeah, those are the differences between and the similarities between both of these phones. I hope this helps. Thanks.